Yeah, they took everything but the kitchen sink. Scratch that. They took that too. No one could find this couple, but I did. Say hi to Jilton John. Hi, I'm John Gordon from All in One Kitchen Bank. And his wife, Sandra the Absconda. Hello, Sandra Ward here. I want them to suffer. I want my money back. I want them behind bars. Yeah, John and Sandra Ward's customers are stunned by what they've done. My jaw hit the floor. I was dumbfounded. And disgusted by how they did it. They didn't give any way to contact them. They didn't say they were going to pay us back. Um, nothing. I think they're a bunch of selfish ass that decided they were just going to take the money and run. And they may have run, but I found them. John or Sandra, hello. It's Rob Walchak from Fox 2. All in One Kitchen and Bath has a fancy showroom in Howell. They have custom trucks their construction crews show up to your door in. This is a remodeling business that's been around for years and had a great reputation and costly, but first-class service. Are you ready to take the next step? and schedule your VIP design consultation today. All these people were ready and shelled out big bucks to hold the spot to get new kitchens and bathrooms. Uh, we've paid about $32,000. So you yeah. gave them 52,000. Yep. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot. We gave them our project down payment for almost $27,000. But three months later, Griffin got this letter in the mail. All-in-one kitchen and bath has been forced to close its doors and cease all business operations. Remember, Griffin gave John and Sandra's company 27 grand and was told his job would start in the fall. So he's got nothing for that money. Diane got the letter too. One week after the company called her and said her job was starting soon. They knew they were in trouble, but yet, they kept saying everything's on track. They got her $39,000 deposit in March. Dawn was never even notified by John and Sandra Ward. To this minute, we have not had any notification that they went out of business. Dawn found out by going online and seeing their website was gone and Google claiming the company was closed permanently. If you knew you were going out of business, I feel like you would have... Why were you taking people's money? She just made her final payment three weeks earlier. Dawn at least had some of her job done, but she says it's not done right. Here's a video her husband made when the drawers in the kitchen she'd paid them $150,000 for started falling off the hinges. As I start pulling out more and more drawers, I'm realizing that none of these are secured in the back. Greg's job was one-third completed when John and Sandra vanished. I personally think it's a calculated decision to go, we got behind, let's take all this money, we know they're not going to be able to get it out of us if they sue us, lay low for a little while and start again. To do it to somebody you personally know is, that's just... That's bad. Jason, the car salesman, has known John Ward for 20 years. Here's John at Jason's wedding. In 2021, Jason gave John Ward a $50,000 down payment for remodeling. In April of this year, John and Sandra Ward came by the dealership to get a new vehicle. Well, they bought a new uh, Jeep Compass. John says his friend promised his remodeling job would start soon, but it didn't. And they capped his $50,000 deposit. I tried calling him. And it went, he just put me right to voicemail. And then I said, where's my money? Here's all in one showroom. It's been like this since June. I left cards on the door several times, but never heard from John or Sandra. The workers' vans sit the way they were left the day they came to work and were surprised to find the business and trucks locked up. John Ward filed for bankruptcy before, so he knows the drill, but he hasn't to anyone's knowledge this time. The couple have several addresses listed as their home, and I checked them out without luck. Then, two weeks ago, while checking out this house in Fenton, we saw a vehicle pull out of the driveway. We didn't see the driver, but he must have spotted us because he drove in circles for about 45 minutes. Hmm. The next day, I went to the door and was surprised when Sandra Ward opened it, but quickly closed it when she saw it was me. I left my business card on the door. That was her. After days of watching the house, my cameraman got video of John Ward pulling out. Again, he quickly drove off once he realized he was being watched. I went day after day, ringing the doorbell, leaving my cards. We'd see them through the glass, but they never answered. Last week, again, no one answered. But as we sat in front, someone put up this sign in the window. Good, that'd be good. 
Genesee County Sheriff's deputy soon arrived and told us since we weren't doing anything wrong and no one had told us to leave, we could stay. We did, with what appears to be John watching. Finally, I went to the door one last time, but again, I wasn't greeted with... Hi, I'm John Ward from All in One Kitchen and Bath. Don't you think you owe it to your customers to talk to me? Give us some kind of explanation. Bunch of people out a lot of money. We're going to be with you hand in hand throughout the entire project. Sure, John. Sure. Hand in hand right into the Hall of Shame. Now, the builder's license for the company is actually held by Sondra Ward. Victims say they filed complaints with the state licensing board, the state police, and the attorney general's office. We left messages with both the ward's attorneys letting them know we wanted to speak with them. Nobody called us back. No one I've spoken to has gotten any explanation as to why the company closed and where all the money went. Taryn and Roop? So these reno jobs, when left incomplete, it's such a loss because so many of the jobs have to be scrapped completely when they're half done. That's a really costly conundrum. Yeah, and a lot of these people gave them money like earlier this year, and the amounts of money, 30000 40000 50000 down payments that were given earlier this year, and then this couple bailed, closed the doors and all that. And those people got absolutely nothing at all. So this is just a shocking story. Yeah. Nobody really knows what happened to these people. And yeah, the, the half done job, that's a big problem too. But some of the people got absolutely nothing. At least if you got some cabinets, you got something to start with. And sad even more than that is they're not going to likely ever see that money again. But Rob, at least you put them out there and maybe other people can learn from this as well. Yeah, ho hopefully uh, they are a licensed company and either there's an explanation or we'll find out if yeah. they get in any kind of legal trouble. All right, we'll have to wait and see. Thank you so much, Rob.